everybody, it's Zap Dinger back again to astound you. This trick I like to call the Four Aces trick because, I, quite frankly, I don't know the name of the trick. So I'm going to call it the Four Aces because it involves the Four Aces, okay? It also involves an ordinary deck of bicycle playing cards, which I'll show you right here. And you can see that there are no Aces anywhere in this deck, okay? Because the Four Aces are laying right here on the table. Then I would hand over the deck of cards to a spectator who would give the deck a complete shuffle, mixing it any way they want, okay, it doesn't really matter, okay, until they would be happy and content. And then I'd ask them to pick up any ace they want and place it anywhere they want into the deck. Okay, so let's say they put in the ace of diamonds first and they push that all the way in, okay. Then I would ask them to pick up any other ace and put it in anywhere they want in the deck. It doesn't really matter, make sure it goes all the way in so I don't know where it is. And they can even do this while my eyes are closed and my head is turned, you know, as long as they push the ace all the way in, so I won't be able to find these aces, okay? And then I would hand them, see, all the way in. Now I would hand them the deck, and they would give it a shuffle, or as many shuffles as they would like, until they'd be happy and content that the cards and the aces are totally mixed up. There's no way on earth that I could know or anyone else could know where any of these aces are, okay? After they're done shuffling the deck, they would hand the deck right back to me, and I would cut the deck a couple of times. Okay, I'd go like this. One, two, okay, and I'd go three, okay, and finally I would go four, okay, and all of a sudden I'd go one, two, three, four, and all of a sudden one, two, three, four, all four aces are back on top of the deck. Thank you very much. See you next time.